everybody, it's Seth, your mild manner mage, and we are back with another episode of Breaking Boxes. And this is kind of a mild stonish episode, I guess. It is episode 40. Uh, doesn't feel like that we have made that many episodes of this show, but here we are. And we are once again returning to the plain of Duskmorn. Uh, this will probably be our last trip to Duskmorn. And for this trip, we have a nightmare bundle. And this is really cool looking, guys. Um, I picked this up from a uh, gaming store here in North Carolina. Uh, they got an, a new shipment in. Uh, the name of the game store was Game Theory, and they are located in Raleigh. Um, so the Nightmare Bundles are a little bit different than your normal bundle boxes uh, that you will get from uh, sets. And let's take a look at the back here. Uh, so what does the Nightmare Bundle include? Uh, so the Nightmare Bundle comes with six play boosters of um, Duskmorn, House of Horror, two collector boosters, one of three borderless cards uh, with art by Tim Jacobus, and then one of three exclusive movie poster cards. And so one of these is going to be a movie poster, and then one is going to be in the Goosebumps style. Uh, you'll get 20 full art, uh, foil full art lands, and then you'll also get a oversized glow-in-the-dark spin-down life counter. So I'm very excited. And then there's also this holographic um, uh, insert here as well, which I think is magnetic. So, And I really like they're leaning hard into um, Dustmorn being a horror plane with this Nightmare Bundle. I really like that it's in the shape of an old 1980s TV. Um, it's got the uh, knobs on it to turn it on and change the channels, change it from VHF to UHF. Uh, very nostalgic for me since I am an 80s baby. Um, so I think they really hit it out of the park with the, with the design of this box. So let's break into it and get the goodies out of it. So let's see. Here we go. All right. And I'm going to try to angle this so we don't see what the cards are. I'm not sure, really sure. I'm not open one of these, so I'm not sure how they'll be in here. But I'm going to try to angle it so I don't see what the cards are because I don't want... I want to do those kind of last if we can. So, all right. So that's the shell of the box. And we'll just kind of put that over here. All right, and then there's the die. All right, and then here's the oversized glow-in-the-dark die with the Duskmorn butterfly on it. So very good, and we can compare that to the other bundle box die. So they are the same size. So there we go. All right. So we've got the die. Uh, let's see, okay. Then here is that insert, and we can see the different, hopefully that's showing up on the video, the different ways that it will change the imagery. We've got some movie posters, we'll take a look at those. Well, let's see if we can unfold. So, it does come with some movie posters. This one is the Archon of Cruelty with, I think that's Gravecrawler. And then there's Archon. So, these are movie posters, not the actual cards. Uh, let's see, what else have we got? Uh... Living Death. That's pretty cool. I'm not sure what 
card this is. But the art on it, that's pretty awesome. That's some of the Goosebumps art. And then the last one. We've got Gorio's Vengeance. And then, again, I'm not sure what card this is, but there we go. Very Goosebumps. Alright. So those are the movie posters. And then we've got... Alright, this is just an insert that's empty now. Slide that back in the TV. So then that leaves us with this deck box, which is pretty cool. It's pre-beat up, so it looks vintage. That's pretty awesome. And then we get into it. So, alright, here are the lands and maybe the other cards. So I'll set those off to the side here. And then we'll get here, set the deck box off to the side. Oh, maybe this is the other cards. And here are some collector boosters. Set those right here. And then here are the six packs that it comes with. All right. So when we get back from the break, we will start breaking into these packs, starting with the play boosters. And we are back with this episode 40 of Breaking Boxes, where we're breaking into this Nightmare Bundle. Uh, I've got our Play Boosters, I've got our Collector Boosters, I've got our special pile over here of lands and the special art cards. And as a thank you for hanging out with me, here are a couple of Magic Arena codes. So be sure to uh, hit the like button, give me a subscribe, turn on your notifications so that you know when I drop the next video so you can grab these notifications before anybody, or not the notifications, so you can grab these codes before anybody else does. All right, so without further ado, let's start cracking some packs and we're gonna start first with these six play boosters, starting with pack number one. All right, so here are our commons. So nothing fancy there. Uncommons, Fear of Falling, Trial of Agony, Asatius Stick Twister, and drag to the roots into a Jolly Balloon Man. Now, I've not seen him yet in any of the uh, packs that I've opened. Uh, legendary creature, Human Clown for red, white, and one. He's a 1-4 Hasty Boy. And you can pay one to tap him to create a token that's a copy of another creature you control, except it's a 1-1 one, one red balloon creature in addition to its other colors and types. And it has flying and haste. Sack it at the beginning of the next instep. Activate only as a sorcery. Uh, I always thought that that sounded like kind of a neat mechanic to be able to make balloon animals out of your other creatures, especially if you have things with ETB effects, like uh, Sad Robot, Psalm Simulacrum, that gives you some ramp going on. So that's pretty neat. Uh, then we have our land. Our foil card is going to be Grand Entryway. And then we've got a Treasure Manifest token. All right. Good start here into pack number two. Get these commons out of the way. Alright. 
break down that door. Vile Mutilator. Diversion Specialist. Smoky Lounge Misty Salon. Into a central elevator promising stairs. So this is a room. When you unlock this door, search your library for a room card that doesn't have the same name as a room you control and put it into your hand. And then promising stairs at the beginning of your upkeep, surveil one. You win the game if there are eight or more different room name or name different names among unlocked doors of rooms you control. Uh, so winning with rooms. And then a foil forest and a possessed goat. Uh, there's a five color commander that I think that that would go really well with because she cares about locking and unlocking rooms. So I think that would play very well together. Or with the new uh, Animatu uh, commander deck as well. Alright, get these uncommons into a Dazzling Theater prop room. Dazzling Theater, your uh, creature spells you have, you cast have Convoke, so creatures can help cast those spells by tapping them. And then prop room, untap each creature you control during each other player's untap step into a very fancy looking swamp and a Mavalent chandelier. That is a common kiss. All right, not many uh, double rares going on with these packs I'm noticing. So hopefully we'll get some good stuff going with these uh, collector boosters. Alright, Savor the Small, Savior of the Small, Fear of Burning Alive, Attack in the Box, and Unnerving Grasp into, oh, here we go, a Meat Hook Massacre Part 2, 4 Black, 2X, whenever Meat Hook Massacre 2 enters, each player sacrifices X creatures. Whenever a creature you control dies, you may pay three life. If you do, return that card under your control with a finality counter on it. Uh, whenever a creature an opponent control dies, they may pay three life. If they don't, return that card under your control with a finality counter on it. Uh, so it's almost better because this has that double X cost in it. Cast it for the four and then cast like a damnation after. Um to be able to hit all of the creatures. But that's a good hit, I think. Vile Mutilator, and then a Spirit Token. All right. Pack number five. Flying right through this. All right, there are our Commons. I think that one's a common as well. I tell you, those uh, symbols are so small on the rooms, you know, and my eyes are so old, they are hard to read sometimes. Omnivorous Flytrap, green and two, delirium, whenever it enters or attacks, if there are four or more card types among cards in your graveyard distribute two plus one plus one counters among one or two target creatures then if there are six or more card types among cards in your graveyard double the number of one one counters on those creatures that would go pretty good with a counters deck i think make some big uh big beefy boys do some good swinging and our last pack here. See if we can hit something good. Alright, there's all of our commons. 
and we've got a ley line of resonance. Uh, when it, if it's in your opening hand, you may play it or begin the game with it on the battlefield. Two red and two. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell that targets only a single creature you control, copy that spell and then choose new targets for the copy. Into a land. Into a common foil. And then into an art card. And that's it. That is all the cards from our play booster. So not a single double rare pack. All just straight one rare or one mythic. Nothing foily or anything. So, little disappointment, but that's all right. We still have these two collector boosters plus our Nightmare Bundle special pack here to open up. So, when we get back from the break, we will jump into these collector boosters. Hang tight and we'll be right back. And we are back, and we are opening a Duskmorn House of Horror Nightmare Bundle. I'm Seth, your mild manner mage, and thank you for hanging out with me while we open up these, uh, these, this bundle and these packs in this 40th episode of Breaking Boxes. And as a thank you, here are a couple of more codes for Magic the Arena. Um, again... Be sure to click that follow button, hit like, hit subscribe, turn on your notifications so that you know when the next episode drops. And we'll take these away now and set them off to the side. And let's go with pack on the left first for this collector booster and see what sort of goodness we get. Again, with these Nightmare Bundles, you got six Play Boosters and two Collector Boosters. So, hopefully we'll get something good in the Collector Booster. So far, the best card has been the Meat Hook Massacre 2. These are all our commons. That's a fun looking piggy bank all right and then there's our land into a ghostly dancers two white and three for a flyer uh, when it enters return an enchantment card from your graveyard to your hand or unlock a locked door of a room you control uh, Eerie, whenever an enchantment you control enters or whenever you fully unlock a room, create a 3-1 spirit creature token with flying. That would go good in my Amunatu deck. Formless Genesis, uh, green and two for a shapeshifter changeling. Uh, oh, this is a kindred sorcery spell. Create a XX colorless shapeshifter creature token with changeling and death touch where X is the number of land cards in your graveyard. This may have to go in my um, Necrobloom deck. Because I put all kinds of lands in my uh, graveyard with that. Peer past the veil, red, green, and two. Discard your hand, draw X cards, where X is the number of card types among cards in your graveyard. Another Jolly Balloon Man. This in the alt art, non-foil. So that is some fun art there. Ooh, now I've already pulled a couple of this boy, but not in this art. I like this art. Enduring Courage, two red and two. This is the Japanese treatment. Uh, for a dog glimmer enchantment creature, whenever another creature you control enters, it gets plus two plus zero oh and gains haste until end of turn. When Enduring Courage dies, if it was a creature, return it to the battlefield under its owner's control. It is an enchantment, not a creature. So that is beautiful art. I love that. And then we have an insect spider token. 
All right, so that is a good hit there. I like that. And then our next pack. is an uncommon. And then here's the dividing line. There is our swamp. Into a Roaring Furnace Steaming Sauna. Roaring Furnace. Trying to get that better in the frame there. Uh, red and one when you unlock this door. This room deals damage equal to the number of cards in your hand to target creature and opponent controls. And then Steaming Sauna, two blue and three, you have no max hand size. At the beginning of your end step, draw a card. Into a Suspended Sentence. Sus yeah, Suspended Sentence. Uh, black and three, destroy target creature and opponent controls. That player loses three life. Uh, exile it with three time counters on it. Okay, so you can... Cast it twice, essentially. Uh, Chainsaw, red and one. Uh, when it enters, it deals three damage up to one target creature. Uh, whenever one or more creatures die, put a rev counter on Chainsaw. Uh, equipped creature gets plus X plus O, where X is the number of rev counters on it. <laughs> that is Hilarious, and I like the uh, TV frame art on this as well. Into a charred foyer warp space. This is one of my favorite rooms that was printed. I put this immediately in my Prosper deck. Um, green, uh, green, red, and three. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of your library. You may play it this turn. Warp space, two red and four. Once each turn, you may pay zero rather than pay the mana cost for a spell you cast from exile. So that means whatever you exile on Prosper, you can cast for free. And then we've got another Tyvar the Pummeler. I've already pulled one of these in this same art and foiling. It is pretty awesome, though. All right, and then that is it. Oh, we got an Everywhere Land, and it is in foil. Uh, these are pretty good. It goes with the um, Overlord of the Hauntwoods, I think, is the name of it. Uh, he makes Everywhere Lands. Uh, these are pretty hard to find token. I think the last time I looked, they were like around 4 or $5 to, to snag. So um, it's great to have this token. I've already pulled one, uh, so I will add another one to my collection to go with the overlord all right so that is the two collector boosters that went with the uh the nightmare bundle so let's start getting into our special packs all right so let's take a look here we i think this is going to be just our lands And I was correct. So all this is is just the 20 foil full art lands. What I thought was the cards, the special art cards are not. They were just how to play the game. So yeah, four of each land. So there we go. All right, not too bad. And last but not least, this special Nightmare Bundle Pack. And I think there's only two cards in it. So let's see what we got. I always hate opening these types of packs because they're so hard to get into. There we go, this one was a little bit easier. And I was right, there are two cards in here. So we will put them like this. 
And we will flip the one on the left first. I don't know what's what, so here we go. Oh, here we go. A Crypt Ghast. And this is the Goosebumps art. Black and three for a spirit. Extort whenever you tap a swamp for mana. Add an additional black. And that is some beautiful art for Crypt Ghast. And it's foil too. I wasn't expecting the foiling. That is fantastic. Look at that. I like the way that they made the ghost pop with the foiling. Very subtle foiling on that. Beautiful. Oh, and just a little bit on the moon, too. Nice. All right. And then the last one, this is going to be our movie poster one. Let's see what we got. We got Goryo's Vengeance. Black and one, uh, return target legendary creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. That creature gains haste. Exile it at the beginning of the next end step. And again, foiling on that on the creature in the back. A little bit on the titling. Very nice. I like it. All right. Well, that is it. That is everything from this nightmare bundle from Duskmorn, the House of Horror. I was hoping that that would show up a little bit better, <laughs> but it did not. Oh, well. Um, well, I appreciate everyone hanging out with me. Um, once again, as a thank you, we will do this one last time. Here are two more arena codes. Just as a thank you for hanging out with me, uh, being faithful watchers, subscribers. Uh, we, we try to do this as much as we can when we've got the codes to hand out. So there you go. And we uh, continue to appreciate your support and all the support that you show this channel. I've got a poll up right now thinking about doing a live stream that will try to do some giveaways, give away some codes, maybe give away some packs. Uh, if you get a chance, please check out that poll. If you would like to see us to do either a live deck building, maybe some live uh, box openings, or I've got a mess of cards on my... Uh, on my desk that need to be sorted through we can do a live sorting into what I would keep and what I wouldn't keep and what I would uh, box away so that is a possibility as well be sure to go vote for that um, and also don't forget to check out our other shows uh, we have Arena Antics, where I go and act like I know what I'm doing on Magic Arena, as well as War Council, where I do some deck techs. I also started a new show, Cardboard Review, with my buddy Mike over at Pokedet. Be sure to check that out, where we review, uh, in our first episode, Secret Lair Marvel. Uh, in the description for that, also check out a link to Pokedet. Uh, where you can get a discounted discount on whatnot. So be sure to check that out and watch Mike's streams on Saturdays, I believe. Um, so yeah, give him a watch if you are into Pokemon and streaming on whatnot. Uh, we will, just because I can, do one more. Here's another uh, arena code. Again, don't forget to give us a like, give us a follow, give us a subscribe. Turn on those bells so that you know when I post the next video because I know a lot of you ask about trying to get arena codes and this is the best way either by watching these videos or checking out the reels when I post them. In the meantime, I am Seth, your mild matter mage, wishing everybody some happy magicking. We'll see you next time.